Hey guys, welcome back to The Gamer Play. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy XIII for the PS3, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we've been through some stuff. We've learned about CP. We've learned about a couple of things. Get a feeling there's a lot more to learn, though. Oh, goody. Right now, I'm pretty much out of CP for most of my characters. Let's continue on. Let's do it! I'll get you out of there. Thanks. Psycom will be here soon. If they find us, we're all dead. You think Sarah'd want that? You think you know how she feels? If I leave her, then I'll never know. We'll be fine. I can handle anything they throw at us. No one will die. I'll protect Sarah. And Cocoon. She looked protected to you. I can save her. <clears throat> what can you possibly do? Oh, whatever it takes. <sighs> oh, me. You two are hopeless. <sighs> you just can't admit it. I want to stay as much as he does. Uh oh. Huh? Huh? Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 Not now! <laughs> Has seemed to be especially be freaked out there. Boss battle time. Uh oh. Paradigm system tutorial. The enemy that stands before you has vast reserve of HP. This tutorial explains how to employ paradigms effectively to stagger it so you can deal extra damage and defeat it quickly. An offensive paradigm like this. Relentless attack allows you to concentrate the party's attack on a single enemy and quickly stagger it. Stop those attacks, and the chain bonus you worked so hard to build will begin to fail. As a result, it may seem like a good idea to stick with relentless assault for the entire battle. However, the enemy's powerful attacks are capable of reducing your party's HP to dangerous levels. If any of your party members take too much damage, shift to a paradigm like Solidarity that contains a medic and heal your characters before they are knocked out. Avoid using a defensive paradigm for too long, though. The longer you use it, the lower your chain bonus will fall, and the harder it will become to stagger your opponent. Pay close attention to both your party's HP and the enemy's chain gauge, shifting paradigms as needed. For the time being, your best bet is a paradigm composed of commandos and ravagers like the Relentless Assault. Focus on driving up your chain bonus until your party has taken significant damage, then shift to Solidarity to recover. As soon as everyone has been healed, shift back to the offensive. The goal is to stagger your enemy as quickly as possible, so you're shifting efficiently, uh... So do, so, so do your shifting efficiently without giving its chain gauge a chance to recover. Uh, okay, I pretty much get the gist of this. Let's try it out. This guy's probably gonna be pretty tough, man. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to attack him. Oh, 
far, I'm pretty good. Oh shit! Not good. Not good. Oh, he got me. I can't stop now. See, the the problem is, you kind of never know, like uh, when he's really going to unleash some big attacks, because my life bar was was kind of okay, and then all of a sudden he really just unleashed the beast on me. All right, where are they gonna load me from? All the way back here, ha! <laughs> All right, no problem. This gives me a chance, you can always skip cutscenes like this. Let's try them one more time. Paradigm system, we're gonna skip this. Okay, let's have another go around then, shall we? Shift to solidarity. Now I got a, uh, I got Vanel healing me up. Damn! Come on, do something. There we go. This guy's tough. He looks kind of like some kind of a robot shark. Look at that face. It's like a shark face. I like that. Alright, one more, then we're gonna shift back. There we go. Damn. Maybe I should check out my techniques right there. Probably some of the shit I've also learned. All right, time to shift. Let's go down the techniques. Libra. This will probably tell me what this guy's weak against. And if you hit R1, yeah, it takes you to the, uh, the menu. Looking at your... Uh, at your battle bossy here. Vulnerability is normal, normal. Looks like he's weak against lightning, weak against what would that be? Water, I guess. Normal against all that other crap. Chain resistance, dagger point. It's kind of cool. So because I use that spell Libra, I think that's what enabled me to uh, see his weaknesses. I would assume that's usually how it works in one form or another. Thanks. Okay, shift back, relentless assault. I'm starting to put a dent in this guy. I gotta stay I gotta say it's still really kinda of odd how I really don't control Snow or Vanel's actions. I kind of I kinda of control them, but from a I don't know, from a different angle. I don't directly control them. I just kind of advise give them uh, like a general idea of how to go about a battle. That whole paradigm shift stuff. Shark face, looking like you get a little bruise there. How's that nose treating you? Time to shift. I think he's in trouble. Get back one last time, he's almost dead. Finish him off. So I kind of got through this without that much trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh, one last attack. There we go. Nice. Woohoo! Four stars! I didn't get five stars. That wasn't that bad. You're leaving? 
We want to help Sarah too. Uh... But without tools, we could be digging for days. Hmm. The army's on our trail. So for now, we gotta keep moving. For now. So I just abandoned her and saved myself? What about your focus? What happened to banding together and saving the world? Isn't that what you promised? Now you want to forget it all and die right here? <sighs> Snow, you're nothing but talk. Lightning! I'll do whatever it takes. I'll finish this focus and keep Sarah safe. That's my promise. Great job so far. <sighs> Stay out of trouble. Mm hmm. You too. Get going. But later. Okay. Snow. Save it for next time, kiddo. You'll get left behind. But... Uh, it's okay, Hope. Light will take care of you. We'll meet again. <laughs> yeah. Count on it. team change. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Can I ever do that myself? I mean... I wonder. When can I change my own battle? You know? I'm gonna go to the Christ uh, no, Paradigms. Battle team. Cannot change your team members at this time! Uh, not that I would want hope in my party anyway. Ooh. <clears throat> anyway. Where, where's Snow? Looks like Snow's not coming with us, man. Where did he go? I think he's up here. There he is. Hey! Hey! Oh well. Let's get out of here. So we're leaving Snow behind. Snow's gonna dig out uh, his... Uh, his fiance, you better be careful with that uh, pickaxe thing. You don't want to chop off some of her limbs. Do you know what you're digging? You know, better be careful with that, buddy. So we're gonna continue on here. Maybe we shouldn't have left him on his own. Yeah, what do you think, Lightning? I don't think Lightning cares. No, I think I know why Lightning has resentment for Snow. It's because that he picked her sister, not Lightning. I mean, they look exactly alike. What's the difference? They look the same, right? Pink hair? Look the same? I don't know what else to say. Uh, it must be the personality. It must be personality, Lightning. Is that why you're so frumpy? Is that why you're grumpy and angry at Snow? Change your attitude. Don't be a bitch. Eh, she's okay. Some of these characters, they're a little... I don't know. Lightning's kind of like... A downer and... I'm so serious. Look at me. And then you got this kid here who's extremely goofy and... Riku, uh, you know, Yuffie type personality, but yeah, I can get, I can get past that. And then of course you got, so you got, oh, he makes it out okay. 
You got Hope, who's kind of a little sissy mama's boy bitch. He needs to grow up. And by the way, it's not really Snow's fault that your mom's dead, kid. He tried. What do you want? It's war, man! It's war! Shit happens. Shit happens. Uh-oh. Oh no, my favorites. Frog lizard, uh... Frog lizard fish. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Trying to sneak up on him there. Trying to sneak up. <laughs> I like how they croak, man. Take that! Take, take that! That's some funny shit. Weakness against fire, weakness against lightning, yeah, it makes sense. Hey, he's using fire. Like he kind of has an idea of what to uh, attack these things with. I like that, I guess. Watch out, hey, these things are These guys are kind of tough. You know, if I were to die in this battle, I could retry and start right from the battle. But it was interesting, earlier I, uh, I fell in that boss battle. I had to go through the, uh, the cutscene again. Hmm. It kind of took me to the save, uh, the save spot. I wonder why it kind of switches up like that sometimes. Hey! Five stars. Strange fluid. I'm not touching that. That isn't a strange fluid. That's urine! That's what that is. Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. Which way do we go, guys? She's she went left. Okay. Looks like your characters, you know, they kind of go on ahead. Okay. Looks like they know which way to go. In that case, I'm going to take the other way. There's probably a treasure uh, up here. Yep. Maybe that's kind of the way uh, it gives you the idea of where to go, you know, if you're if your party members go one way, go the other, check it out. Look at this. Hoo Jesus. That took me right down to him. Alright. Who wants some? The whoops are my favorites. These guys are pushovers. Damn. Damn. Goodbye! I'm getting more technical points. Hmm. More paths here. Let's go this way. Oh man, look at those guys down there. Narrow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, I, I do this in real life all the time myself. It's very realistic. These characters have no fear. Hey, those baddies are off the grid. Look at that. What's up with that? Looks like I got a gun for you there. Yeah, no problem. Cold, wet, slippery. Long skinny tube there, running up. No problem. I'm not gonna fall off. You know, in these Final Fantasy games, I always think it's uh, you know just RPGs or games in general, really. But you know, your characters come across kind of like a frozen part of the game, or you know, icy terrains and all that stuff. And it doesn't look like this chick is really dressed for the uh, elements here, does it? How cold are you, eh? Lightning. Look at this, like this skirt and. Like, sleeveless, uh, I don't know what the hell this thing is. Jacket, shirt thing. Meanwhile, Zaz, he's a little more dressed for it, I'd say. And Danelle, didn't she have some sort of skirt on, too? And, like, a sweater tied around her? You might want to put that sweater on. It's fucking cold out! Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, look at this. What are you doing? What? Okay, do not shake the slippery tube. We cool on this? Do not shake the slippery tube. Tell me about it, man. Hey, look. Yep. Is that shaking it? Is that shaking it? What am I doing? Only scary if you look down. You what am I doing? Close your eyes. <laughs> I 
Stop posing, man. Oh, Jesus! Okay, alright, I see you. I acknowledge you. I know you're there. Relax, let's do this. Final Fantasy games always have, uh... The craziest, uh... Fucking enemies I've ever seen. These things are great. They really are fish lizard frogs. A lizard tail, have a frog body, they ribbit, fish scales. Die! Let's go. Investigate this. Ah. Ah. Oop, did I Oh god damn. I'm trying to get a preemptive attack here. Kinda hard. By the way, what kind of a fish lizard frog like walks around during this uh this cold temperature? Lizards and frogs. Not really a, an arctic type of animal, wouldn't you say? I'm sure we're going to encounter some sort of lake or swamp later in this game. Or, I don't know, beach. You can't put them there? No. Uh -huh. Just have more wolves. What about like some polar bear type? I want to fight a polar bear. Where's the bear? Open up. Nice view. Out of the way, Zaz. Let's go back up this thing. I am getting dizzy, man. Okay. won't change anything. Blah, blah, Next blah. Next time we meet, he'll learn exactly how I feel. So I think we might be almost out of here. I really can't tell yet. Let's go get these baddies first. Nope, oh, examine. There's our icon that says uh, destination or whatever. I think that happens or is displayed when we need to examine something. So I do, I, I, I've said I, I love these arctic type places and these RPGs, but I gotta say, I kinda wanna get out of here. It's really frigid and, and depressing, dull. I gotta get out of here. We need to get out of the ice lands here. We gotta get out of here. Where was that town in that flashback? Let's go there. Let's go there and chill out, man. Let's, let's just relax. We gotta get out of here. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay, examine. How do I examine that thing again? Where's the fucking thing? Looks operational. <laughs> okay. There's our buddies. Hoo Is that preemptive? Nope, that was preemptive. Nice. Yes. 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 Okay, I like that. Let's do more of that. Yeah, let's do more of that. Let's get this out. Let's do more of that kind of stuff. And 
That preemptive attack stuff really does help. I am kicking the shit out of these things. That extra attack. Oh my god. Oh my god, and I'm about to die. Okay, we're, we're gonna be okay. Been a little crazy here. Fish frog lizards are crazy. triangle there you see that oh yeah so unless you're about you kind of know your attack is going to finish your enemy off and you don't feel like waiting a couple seconds i still don't see really the point of ending the attack with the triangle and just getting it over with i mean because you know the stronger attack the better right so right now i still don't see much use for that hmm where's a save spot where are you going hey Bridge. Is that Hope up there? Oh no, that's Saz. Where, where is Hope? So if the party member isn't in your party, they really like shoot him all the way at the end of your destination, kind of. There's a safe spot. I'll come back to this. I'll come back. Uh oh. <laughs> Battle technique tutorial. Here we go! View this tutorial. Techniques are special abilities used by expending technical points, TP. Toilet paper. I kind of see that down at the bottom right there. It's kind of weird looking. TP5, okay. Your party's TP gauge appears below the leader's HP gauge. Successfully unleashing a full ATB gauge of queued abilities or earning a high battle rating replenishes TP. Oh! -ho! Try using a technique yourself. Select techniques from the menu and execute the Libra ability. Yeah, I did that already. Whoops! I hit the keyboard. Using Libra reveals the abilities and weaknesses of your enemies. You can view known enemy intel at any time by pressing R1. Hey, I did this already. Awesome. Alright, well, let me do that now. Revealing enemies' attributes will automatically change the abilities selected by the auto battle command and by your allies. The most effective actions known are always chosen. Using Libra on this alpha behemoth revealed that it is vulnerable to both fire and water damage. If a character's current role has access to these abilities that deal damage to those types, that character will now be able to deal damage more efficiently. When you encounter seemingly overwhelming new uh, enemies, Libra can be a potent ally. Okay, cool. So it kind of, now that I used uh, that Libra attack and I, I've seen, uh, you know, what this thing's weak against, it kind of automatically shifts my uh, my allies' attacks to, uh, you know, the spell that this thing is weak against, basically. That's what it's saying. I also kind of, I like that in a way and I also don't like it. Like sometimes, I, I'm not going to, I don't want to use this Libra spell all the time. I don't know, unless I kind of have this wrong. Additional techniques will become available over time. More powerful techniques consume TP when used, and unlike HP, TP is not restored automatically after battle. Fuck you. Aim to achieve high battle ratings in order to replenish TP. So my total TP right now is 5? Okay. Jesus. Alright, we don't need to use that now. So yeah, my TP was at 5 right now, it's at 4. This guy seems like another tough one, by the way. Ooh, Paradigm Shift diver di Diversity? Snow is, oh man, Snow's no longer there, what is that gonna do for me? I'm still using fire. Oop. Okay, I'm still curing myself, alright. I was a little scared there for a second, I wouldn't be uh, kind of healing myself up if needed to. Damn. Alright, let's go back to the Nobles Society. Man. I still think that, like, all this shit really goes by so fast. All these numbers are displayed kind of at the same time. It's really hard to kind of look at it sometimes. And, and what attack is coming from which character, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting... Okay, I kind of see what you're It's still kind of crazy, though. It really is. And all the, the camera movements all the time. Some fast-paced shit, man, let me tell you. 
I'm sticking it to this thing. Sticking it! Goodbye. Uh, three stars. Christian points, technical points. Hmm. Phew. What's up this thing? Nothing's up this thing. Look at Why that. They're sending in cruisers. Cruisers. Mark must be sweating bullets, mobilizing ships like that. Why don't you come back here, man? I'm going back to save. Maybe I'll check over here first. What's this? Ah. Libra scope. Okay, we're getting through these tutorials. It just seems like they're adding more and more shit to uh, to worry about in battles. This is getting really complicated. Let's get back to the save. All right. Okay, access. Thank you. I believe it's save five that I'm looking for, actually. Don't have to take too long. Awesome stuff. Are okay, guys. Looks like we're getting through this. Hopefully, we're almost through the ice level. Let me check the uh, check our map real fast here. Actually, okay, there's us. Oh God, there's more. Oh, good God, look at that! More twists and turns and lefts and rights. Oh, Jesus, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.